Also, the Minister of State for Health, Dr. Oloruni Mamora, has reiterated government's commitment to reduce med medical tourism. Speaking in Abuja, Dr. Mamora noted that partnering with the private organizations to upgrade tertiary hospitals in Nigeria is part of government's efforts to reduce medical tourism. Okimote Monirua reports. Medical tourism by Nigerians, particularly by the elite and members of the ruling class, has been an issue of debate for years. Previous governments have tried to address the issue, and President Buhari, during the previous administration, had proposed a ban on medical tourism for public office holders. But the challenge has persisted. Minister of State for Health is highlighting factors that contribute to medical tourism. At times, it's not even much of um, um, lack of equipment. At times, the issue of attitude is there. The issue of uh, environment, you know, the, 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 the hospital environment, particularly at the tertiary level, it should just be the environment with a five-star hotel. Exactly. That's where it should be. Yeah. He also admits that tertiary health institutions are in poor states. The states of the teaching hospitals is not really what it should be. And um, they, they rightly they put in what the present administration of uh, President Nino Bari intends under health is to make the system work better. Reducing medical tourism requires the will to do what is right. We are not there, but uh, we will be there. We can be there and we will be there. So if we do the right things. The cost of medical tourism by Nigerians is estimated at $1 billion annually. Improving the health sector would not only save the country this cost, but also help achieve universal health coverage. Or Kiemute Imunirua. STV News Abuja.